Meanwhile, we can tell you that the former police officer who killed Dante Wright will be in court tomorrow. Kim Potter is out of jail after posting bond a few hours after she was taken into custody. Our Aaron Hassanza explains how the charges against her compare to other police cases and why those charges could still be upgraded. No parking signs speckled the cul-de-sacs around Kim Potter's home. Police barricading and guarding the house of the ex-officer charged in Dante Wright's death after shooting him during a traffic stop. Well, I think it's unfortunate, but I'm glad that they are doing that to, you know, protect her, protect her property. According to the criminal complaint, Potter shouted she would taser Wright, but instead shot him once six seconds later. Wright said, ah, he shot me and sped off before crashing into another car. The complaint says Potter's handgun was holstered on the right side of her belt and the taser on the left. Prosecutors say she would have had to use her left hand to draw it. Criminal defense attorney Michael Brand says the second degree manslaughter charge is the bare minimum in this case, though he says she was charged quicker than usual. For second degree manslaughter, I often refer to that as a negligence uh, charge. You have to create an unreasonable risk and consciously take chances of causing death or great bodily harm. Brand, who's not affiliated with the Potter case, sees it as a combination of the cases of former officers Mohamed Noor and Geronimo Yanez. Yanez, who faced second degree manslaughter, was acquitted in the death of Philando Castile. Noor was convicted of both third degree murder and manslaughter for killing Justine Damon. Brandt thinks that could happen in this case too. They've got to show that there was that there was uh, there was basically reckless conduct, and so. I mean, I, again, I, I could see those facts fitting in this case, you know, along with the uh, similar to what happened in the Noir case. Brand thinks prosecutors likely debated between a second degree manslaughter and third degree murder charge, something activists are calling for. Potter's charges could be upgraded until the start of her trial. In Champlain, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. If convicted, Potter could face up to 10 years in prison. The Minnesota Public Employees Retirement Association tells WCCO that Potter does qualify for her pension. She still would have qualified if she had been fired instead of resigning.